Hey everyone, welcome back. After hundreds of hours of AFKing, I've finally made it into first place on the all-time leaderboard for playtime. I said I might tell you how to AFK at 1000 hours, but I'm rethinking this, and I kind of want more people to AFK for certain reasons which I will not disclose of. But anyways, I AFK in a browser, typically Chrome or Opera, on Windows. I have two methods, or four depending on how you count them, which I want to share. One of which was given to me by Pet Bat, which I would like to thank them for. I'll begin with the method I use the most since it's the easiest and requires the least effort, but maybe the first to patch. It works every time I try it. So basically the method goes a little like, have a shrunken window or one in a split screen, hold down left click while you're in the game, and then move your mouse outside the window and then let go of the mouse. Now your player should keep shooting away, even though you've let go of the mouse. You can click anywhere on screen that's not the game, and it will keep firing. You can even click on the window around the screen of the actual game, and it will keep firing. So you basically have auto fire until you click on the canvas of the game itself, and that will stop it from firing. You can always do it again to start it back up again. The other technique is if you're in a game and you hold down click and then you alt tab or use the windows hotkeys to tab into another window that covers the part of the game that your mouse is on, then you should be able to keep AFKing. Same thing goes if you have um, something that can just minimize the window. Also make sure that the game window isn't completely covered, which is why the minimizing thing isn't really that good because the game isn't exactly, it's like kind of running, but it's not really running. So you'll still get AFK kicked after two minutes. So the window has to be at least somewhat visible on screen if you want to AFK for long periods of time. Also, you could just go old school and hold down your mouse and then just unplug it. So those are all my methods. I feel like they might not work everywhere, but I feel like they should work in most places. I have this other method from Pet Bat, and basically it goes a little something as you hold down click and then you hold down right click to open the emote menu. And while hovering over an emote, let go of left click. And then let go of right click to drop the emote to hide the menu. And make sure to let go of left click while you're hovering over an emote. And basically, after that, you should be able to have auto fire, essentially, until you click again. I tried to find a way to AFK on mobile, but mobile is kind of relentless on the AFK kicks. You can get AFK kicked for walking, shooting, quick switching, taunting, and emotionally supporting your team by standing still. Okay, I'm just kidding about that last one. But anyways, the point is, AFKing on mobile without getting kicked is kinda hard. And, as a result, I offer you a challenge. Okay, it's not really a challenge, it's kinda just kinda boring. But I mean, it would be pretty cool if it actually happened. And it goes, can you hold down the joystick in the fire position with fists or something or anything that will keep firing still enough for two minutes and get AFK kicked without really being AFK? Now that you know how to AFK, it's time to talk about my AFK adventures, which I actually didn't have that many. <laughs> but I'm going to start off talking about those four kills I got this season. If you don't know already, I was aiming to get no kills on my alt account for Season 3. Although, sadly I ended up failing right as the season begun. Well, I ran someone over during the Season 3 video. The second kill was another accidental kill I got when filming a video. And I talked about it in my Ghost Objects video where I accidentally killed my main using stickies. Then the third kill I got was I was riding in a car and I accidentally ran someone over. Ironically, I ran them over be because I was distracted from thinking about what if I accidentally ran someone over. And the fourth kill I never really talked about anywhere publicly, but I s yeah, I still won't talk about it. So I'll provide this blurred out screenshot. I like how it's so much to talk about just for the four kills. Anyways, onto the AFK parties. 
Like I said in the AFK party videos, there aren't that many AFK parties forming around building walls because, well, it looks really boring. Not nearly as good as AFKing with a melee, however, I did have some interesting wall formations that I never screenshotted, and it's possible to AFK into the stove on crossroads, it's just like the gold safes in the heist. Speaking of the heist, on a random note, I spawned on, in one of those thin walls, and I started to shake around. It was quite fun while it lasted, and uh, later, I decided to celebrate around 10 hours before I was about to beat the game, and it turns out I was busy the next few days, so I didn't beat the game for like, almost another week. While celebrating, we had two parties in the same game going on at once because so many people and so many of my alts ended up attending. We ended up clogging up a point, and I tried to clog up a flag spawn with some friends, but red team came in too fast, and it never fully get ended up getting clogged. Also, while that was happening, a few other friends were AFKing elsewhere, and they managed to make a bunch of walls. Other than walls, that was probably all of interest for the AFK party that night. So, that's about it. I probably won't make another AFK video for a while. Although I do feel like someone is on my tail, so maybe... Eh, anyways, I'll leave this episode off right here. Happy AFKing, and see you all next time.